welcome back to Obermatt Investing to invest in European stocks. Today is June 16. We are ahead of the June 19 publication of our top 10 stocks. And what you can see here is the stock list that is going to be published on Friday. We have DAX 30 and Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong. It's very obvious we want to invest in European stocks, which means we're going to go after the DAX 30. We can also look if uh, there are stocks in the focus markets. Let's click on here. Let's see what we have here. Climate leaders, a good topic to invest in, I think, but it's USA, so I'm not really interested in that right now. I'm going back to the normal stock indices. We have the DAX 30, uh, the German stock index and we want to see what kind of top 10 stocks we have here. Let's look at the value stocks. Oh, we have Volkswagen. That's a, a business that I know. Everybody has probably an understanding how car making works from the outside at least. Uh, value with 100 seems to be quite good priced compared to the size, but the safety rating is really low at nine. I can't imagine that this is true. Let's Let's review that. Let's, let's have a look why this is the case, that this is so low. Let's have a look at Volkswagen and see why their safety rating is so low. Um, the leverage is low and the liquidity is actually not that bad. That overall gives it a very low safety rating. You know, if you want to challenge our numbers, one thing you can do is you go to Reuters. You can go to the Reuters website, which is really good. Uh, this is the Reuters website now in front of you. Uh, there's a little search box up there, very simple. You enter Volkswagen. You enter Volkswagen, that's what you want to do. There are companies. And then we have the right page in front of us, which is Reuters view on the stock uh, uh, Volkswagen and here we have a, you know a, you know a reason maybe why the stock is priced well it just lost 10% of its value not even actually over the past uh, six months that's not really a lot let's go to the financials because we want to know if our safety rating is correct what you have here is the important um, financial ratios earnings valuation ratios and of course financial strength and we see here the company, Volkswagen, versus the industry. And that's what our rating at Obermas does too. Every rating that you see is a relative indicator compared to the industry. And you can see the quick ratio, the current ratio, both express liquidity are lower than the industry. You know, Volkswagen is less cash. Uh, the debt to equity ratio is double the industry uh, normal size. That's why this was so low. And uh, total debt to equity as well uh, double the industry average. So the Obermott ratings are correct. Volkswagen indeed has low safety in, uh, from their balance sheet, which means I want to go back um, to the top 10 list and look at another stock. We have here Volkswagen, we didn't pick that. Then we have Lufthansa. Airlines is a difficult industry to invest. It's not my first choice right now. And we have Merck. Merck uh, looks good. Uh, pharmaceuticals has growth, has safety, has value. Uh, you could also, you know, the other companies, K and S, fertilizer, agricultural chemicals. I like that, but there's no growth. I wonder why this is the case. Uh, but you know, K and S and Merck both are good alternatives. RWE, um, they, I think, do electric utilities. It's multi utilities, probably different ones. And then at Munich Re, we're already uh, below the top quartile uh, with Deutsche Post, Heidelberg, Cement, Fresenius, Henkel. Let's just, just a quick look at the combined rating. Let's scroll down. The growth ratings we know are not that important. Let's go down to the combined rating. And what we have here, again, is Munich Re at the top, Deutsche Bank. I'm not so much into financials right now. I've bought four or five stocks now. Uh, this is probably my fifth stock. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think I want to overweight financials at this moment. I think every 10 stock can be a financial stock, maybe a, every 15 stock. But uh, right now, this would be a little bit too early to go into this in industry when we haven't bought more other stock. Merck again shows off Lufthansa, Deutsche Post, an interesting company as well, logistics, um, 
something I think we don't have yet. But the value rating is only 72. Um, it's mainly safety. I could imagine that if this has to do with their financing structure, which is probably still owned, you know, uh, by a large part by by the, the German government. And we, get, we have again Volkswagen, unfortunately, with a very low safety rating, Infineon semiconductors with a low value rating. I think I stay with my top choices, which is Merck, not Lufthansa, not Deutsche Post, and K and S with no growth. Let's um, have a look at Merck first. Let's look what kind of company this is. Um, we uh, have here the achievements first. Something that uh, actually I like a lot is if, there, uh, if the company takes care of the climate, uh, if it has a below average carbon two emission, and you know also very good because still quite rare, family-friendly stocks. We only have 120 roughly family-friendly stocks. These are the stocks that signed the Women Empowerment Principles. I think that's a very good sign. Let's have a closer look at Merck. Let's see if that is really true. I have here the website of Merck in front of me. I want to know about Merck. What do they do? Um, it's a leading company of, for innovation. Oh, this is a really small fund. Let's make this bigger. I guess this is written for people who buy Merck contact lenses. I don't know if they're a contact lens provider, but <laughs> um, this is much better if it's bigger. Merck is a leading company for innovative and top quality high-tech products, healthcare, life science, and performance materials. Around 40,000 employees, 65 countries are known. Yes, they're known, of course. Uh, oldest pharmaceutical chemical company. That's pretty cool. They have the oldest pharmaceutical and chemical company. And they're focused on responsible entrepreneurship. And the family remains the majority owner of the company. I think that's a good sign. This gives you stability, even though there was a sign in Switzerland that this is not always the case. Families are not always responsible towards their companies. That can happen. Let's have a look what they actually say, because this now is Carl Ludwig Clay, I think he's the CEO, but I have to check that. You know, I don't want to spend a lot of time researching stocks. That's why things like that go fast. Um, and uh, they say for 350 years, responsibility has been important. Uh, our entire range of CR can be summed up under the term responsible governance uh, concept that informs Merck's day-to-day -day actions. Well, let's look at the guidelines. Let's see what they do in, they have a human rights charter, they have a code of conduct, stem cells co principle for cloning, fertility research policy. They do a lot, I'm really impressed, they do a lot. We know already it's a family friendly stocks. Where we know that they're taking responsibility um, serious. Let's look more what uh, Carl Ludwig Clay has to say. Again, very, very, very small. Let's make this bigger. Ladies and gentlemen, friends of Merck, the world is changing rapidly. Among them, climate change, aging population, you know, all the problems that we have. And they see themselves as shaping a part the future. We take responsibility. I like that. But do they do anything specific? Uh, not here yet. Let's look at down here uh, what they do. We are dedicated to involving access to health and are committed to providing underserved population. I think that's really important. Uh, large companies should do things like that. Governments have more and more difficulties doing that stuff alone. In everything we do, we strive to maximize our, our to minimize our negative impacts. That's fine. Um, for instance, we are continually developing new formulations of liquid crystals that require less display backlighting, which significantly reduces the power consumed by electronic devices. Well. That's, <laughs> that's you know, business sense. Makes sense to make things more efficient. I don't really think that's yet corporate responsibility. Um, we, have, we have the part of a healthy society. Now, take an example from Premio Letario Merck, a literary award that we present once a year in Italy to writers who in particular have built bridges between science and literature. We also sponsored the John Heinrich Merck Award for Literature Critique and Essay. 
um, okay, they are sponsoring literature. Okay, that really doesn't, doesn't impress me that much. But they're taking a lot of other things that are already good, just the points that they're mentioning here. This is interesting. A access to medicine in index. We once more increased our standing, moving up to sixth place in the world. I like that. I like quote responsible investing. Let's go um, check out our e-banking. Yes, we are here. We have here the stocks we bought last week. You see, still you see Luxotica, which is the newest stocks. And you know, the stock markets are dropping further. We can not do anything about that. You know, not, you know, being invested is just as risky. You never know when the bottom is reached. And I buy a new title. I wanna have the stocks. I wanna go for Merck. Merck, that's the one. Uh, there are two different ones, US and Germany. I'm gonna buy it in Germany. And it costs 90 euro, 90 euro, which means I'm gonna divide 5,000 by 90. That gives me, uh, actually, by, it must be a little bit more than 90 because uh, I'm paying in Swiss francs. The euro is still a little bit more expensive than the Swiss francs. So I think I'm gonna buy 50 stocks of Merck. 50 stocks of Merck, and I say best. I don't give a limit, I go on, and it's gonna cost me 4,500. No, it's not gonna cost me, I'm gonna invest 4,500 uh, euros. The, your uh, order has been accepted, and this will be in my portfolio shortly. Shortly, thank you for being with us to see how you can invest in stocks with the Obermott Stock Search Engine in a very easy and efficient way. Good investing.